500 million years ago. The microcontinent was situated near the equator. The Western scientists called it Kazakhstania. The structure with almost full list of elements from the Mendeleev's table inside its depth. What secrets does Kazakhstan soil have? How rich is it? Natural resources are the history of our land for thousands of years. Planet Earth is the source of the wealth that man has been using since time of his appearance. Minerals and possible extraction and processing of it gave impetus to the development of human civilization. Studying the depths of the planet, people have reached today's level of intelligence, economics and culture. Nature has spent more than one million years to create it. Sometimes it can be called the blood of the Earth. This element moves our cars, get up planes into the air, and we even use it to pack products in the store. Household chemicals, cosmetics, and even clothing are made of oil products. However, it seems that what we contact every day and what we presumably all know about has its secrets and mysteries. Oil, or in Russian definition, neft, where the name of this amazing oily liquid, which contains in bowels of the planet, came from. Linguists have not get a consensus yet. Some believe that this word has Turkish roots. Other sources say that the word came to Turkish language from the oldest Syrian language. There is one more opinion that gives preference to Iranian origin. But no matter where this word came from, translation of it creates a clear associative series that precisely describes oil, liquid substance, to inflame, to spew. Oil began to be extracted in an industrial way in the second half of the 19th century. However, man began to use it for the very first time even 6,000 years ago BC. Ancient Sumerians discovered strange oily stains on water surface between Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Substance of stains was looking like a tar. It was petroleum bitumen. The Sumerians began to use it in construction. They added it to the mixture that was used in production of bricks. Dishes were also covered with bitumen for making it waterproof. In addition, the liquid substance was used to illuminate the premises. The Sumerians learned even how to treat with oil. They use it as an ointment for the treatment of joints. At the beginning of our era, oil has already become a commodity. It was extracted by the people of the Middle East and sold abroad. Chinese used this fuel in military affairs. Some sort of Molotov cocktail was made of it. As historical chronicles say, the first oil wells appeared in the Celestial Empire in the 4th century of our era. Bamboo trunks were used for drilling. Men found the special properties of this substance in different parts of the world. The origin of oil still causes debate. Это органика, которая солнце вкладывало во всю биомассу. Это вообще In general, the deposits have marine or continental origin. Ну, морских отложениях больше The marine sediments have more organics and therefore there is more light oil. Ну, образуется бассейн. Basin is formed on low territories where precipitation has been deposited for millions of years. Organics that accumulate in these sediments after some time falls to a certain depth. 
It is believed that it falls to a depth of 500 to 1,200 meters, where the process of oil formation begins. For centuries, scientists are trying to find out if animals or plants were the source material for the oil occurrence. But there were alternative versions. In the early 19th century, the famous scientist and traveler Alexander Humboldt had an idea that origin of oil is mineral. And Dmitry Mendeleev, who is known as author of the Table of Chemical Elements, suggested that oil is the result of the interaction of water with metal carbides at high temperature. There's even theory that oil came from space. According to it, hydrocarbons initially existed in the period of the origin of the planet itself, or were formed during the formation of the Earth. Versions and hypotheses began to appear since the people learned about oil. While scientists argue this mysterious and unique natural resource has taken the leading place in the economy of the whole modern world. Today Kazakhstan is in list of the 15 leading countries of the world for confirmed oil reserves. The first oil fountain flowed on the territory of our country in the late 19th century. From that moment the history of national oil production began. However, the last decades become the most significant for the industry. The list of places of deposits of Kazakhstan's hydrocarbon raw materials continues to grow. Kumkol is one of the largest deposits of Kazakhstan. 850 kilometers to northwest from Kozlorda, at the junction of the sands of the Turan lowland and the Balkash region, at depths of more than 2 kilometers and on the area of about 80 square kilometers, the treasures of the Turgai expanse are hidden. Explorers of mineral resources used to work here even in the 30s of the last century. And only after almost half a century, the oil prospecting expedition drilled the first well at Kumkol. The project depth of first well in Kumkol is 1,389 meters. The well had to be prepared for geophysical work to determine the complete information about the well. On the day of the changing duty watch, a gas oil explosion occurred on the well when the tool was being lifted. And this well was the first well. It could not be closed for many years. The well flowed, an open large basin was formed. Thus, the forecasts of geologists about the presence of large oil reserves in this area have received exact confirmation. The first well, which flowed with oil without stopping, was closed by installing a cement cube. December 24, 1987, in Kozlorda, the oil and gas production department of Kumkol Neft was established. And a couple of months later, the first production caravan went to the field. Mangeschlag Neft Company sent first discoverers, specialists here. As the veterans of Kumkol told that the first support and arrangement of a new place was rendered by colleagues from the Mangeschlag Neft Production Association. Kumkol received 23 trucks, 15 residential trailers, two drilling diesel units, construction materials. Transportation of these goods was not easy. There was no road. The route was going through caravan and poaching ways. The project of the Kozlorda Kumkol route of 190 kilometers long began to realize in 1988. At first, there were difficulties. As you know, there was no road. We arrived by airplanes and helicopters. Then there were problems with kerosene. There were no kerosene, so we decided to build a gas station in Alexandrovka. 
That is settlement of geologists near Gizlorda. And so the helicopter could make several flights and refueled there. We had to find a way out because there was no road. Usually a truck was five or six days on the way. The construction of workshops and subdivisions of Kumkolneft began in the hardest conditions of off-road, sharply continental climate and long distance from the centers of civilization. A camp was built for 120 places with a dining room. The construction of the Kumkol Karakayin oil pipeline and the Jeskazgan Kumkol power electricity line with a length of 240 kilometers were built alongside. Already in May 1990, the first tons of Kumkol oil were delivered to the Shimkent oil refinery. Since its launch, Kumkol has been actively developing and is becoming a real school of professional education for young Kazakhstanis from various regions of the country. Our operators measured the extracted oil in the following way. How many cubes gives each kind of well? What is percentage of water or oil? They measured everything before sending it to a chemical laboratory. Because we did not have a special person who would take the trial. Also our guys were engaged in the mechanical part. They did everything themselves. Service mechanics who started their work at locksmiths worked on the basis of production. Then we went there and showed and taught them. There were ovens for heating oil and we showed how to light it. We showed everything in practice because neither specialists from the institute, neither from the school have ever seen oil before. In 1991, the first million barrels of oil was produced at the Kumkol field. According to geologists, the recoverable hydrocarbon reserves are 52 million tons. Research shows that there are some factors when the bowels of the planet could accumulate precious liquid in a particular place. This is a complicated and long process. And sometimes oil can be different even in one field. It could be different in weight composition, and even color. Hydrocarbons can be distracted in all oil deposits. They can stretch for tens and hundreds of kilometers. And collectors are needed to make oil accumulate in one place. Collectors are special sedimentary rocks that collect and filter oil, gas, and water. And one more necessary condition is tectonic movements. Kumkol relates to the Turgai expanse. Scientists say that theoretically there should not be any oil and gas traps. The basis is Paleozoids in the Turgai expanse. And here are the Mesozoic and Cenozoic deposits, which have sedimentary origin. These sediments are quietly buried in these expanses. Since Kumkol is located to the north, there were less active tectonics, but the tangential movements were strong there, and this local elevation was formed there. These Jurassic sediments and lower Cretaceous deposits, which were favorable for the formation of this oil. During the process of active tectonic movement, in the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, seams were changing position by ascending or descending. So that's how a powerful sedimentary cover, which contains organic substances, was formed. These organic substances are forming petroleum rocks. The main zone with Kumkol oil located at a depth of about 2 kilometers. 
studies prove that one cubic meter of rock includes 1% of organics, from which about 100 to 300 grams of oil is produced. These are pure oil-bearing rocks, which contain about 10 tons per one cubic kilometer. This oil breed is made of organics, plants, organic substances that are extinct. These are the remains of organisms. White steppes, deserts and semi-deserts are a distinctive feature of this area, where the fossil that is so necessary for humans is stored in depth. The Turgai expanse connects the large depressions of the Turan plates, the West Siberian and the Serdaria. The base where this platform is located is a crystalline basement. It has been developing during many millions of years of transformation and changing of current part of the continent. The modern southern Turgai is the bottom of the ancient Tethys Ocean, which existed 100, 150 and maybe even more millions of years ago. And as you know, the Caspian and Aral Seas and other lakes on the territory of Kazakhstan are remains of that ocean. The men began to settle these places long before drilling rigs appeared here. There were camps of ancient people located from the nearest large settlement in 160 kilometers from Kumkol, Kazlorda. According to scientists, the most ancient archaeological object in the Kazlorda region can be considered as monuments of Andronova culture, the Late Bronze Age, the beginning of the first millennium BC. There were caravan routes, cities, were built there, trade was active, the ancient Silk Road was divided into different routes. Merchants from Central Asia, the Middle East and China crossed these steps not just once but during many centuries. In the different parts of the seemingly endless Kislorda steppe, archaeologists find evidence of the existence of a highly developed civilization, the age of which, with discovering of each new artifact, has been increasing for several centuries. Currently, archaeological work is being carried out on a regional scale in such cities as Shirik Rabat, Siganak, Jankent. Archaeological excavations are conducted in these three cities. At one time, these three cities were capitals, were political centers. Speaking of Chirikrabat, this city appeared in the middle of the first millennium BC. This is the early Iron Age. This means that it was built in the 5th, 4th centuries BC. The settlement is considered to be the city of the Saks. The differences between the Saks from Serdaria and the other Saks are that our Saks led a settled way of life. Chirikrabat is called as a city because there was a citadel, fortress walls, and these lands belonged to the royal people. The settlement was the capital of one of the branches of the Saks tribes of the Massagete. The royal burial grounds were discovered inside the city. That shows that the fortress belonged to the royal people. It was the center of their sacred temple. The long history of the formation, development of this territory, and the human society in the expanses of the steppe region still continues. Today archaeologists layer after layer remove covers where relics of the past are hidden, and geologists penetrate the Earth's crust for searching treasures, without which the modern life of man is inconceivable. And now oil pipelines that are running to the horizon, along which the precious substance is delivered to the final destination for processing remind the ancient caravan routes. The heart of the oil field is the oil supply depot. In principle, 
This is the final stage in the technological chain of oil production. Here raw products are brought to the commodity state and sent to consumers. At the Kumkol oil field there is oil supply depot and neighboring companies are pumping oil there too. Everything is going through Kumkol, through the oil supply depot. Here the oil pipeline Kumkol Karakain goes to China and one line goes to the Shimkent oil refinery. However, before oil goes to consumers, it goes through a serious technological chain of cleaning and preparation. For this purpose, a whole complex of workshops operates on the field. High-tech structures rise on the surface of the boundless and seemingly uninhabited steppe. The first in this production chain is the oil and gas production workshop. Here hydrocarbon raw materials are extracted. The employees of this division supervise and support the technological process. Wells are connected to a common oil collection system. Each of it is equipped with ground and underground equipment. Then the raw material passes several stages of purification. The oil and gas mixture supplied to the group facility. Then it is fed to a special separator where the process of separation of liquid and associated gas takes place. Then gas and oil go to different routes. The gas enters the recycling workshop. Here the condensate separates by separator too. Some of the gas is supplied to consumers in neighboring fields and some are used at Kumkol. But the oil mixture is waiting for other manipulations. The next stage is the separation of water from oil. It is separated under the pressure from the separator into the tank, where it is settled and then it is pumped back into the reservoir with the help of pumps. This is necessary to fill the voids and create pressure to produce the next batch of oil. Thus some sort of circulation is created and the oil that is already cleared of gas and water is sent to oil supply depot, which is at the heart of the deposit. There is also a chemical laboratory at the field. The analysis of the qualitative composition of oil and extracted reservoir water is carried out here. The quality of oil is checked before sending it to the pipeline system. And the quality of oil in wells also under control. Ongoing monitoring of oil from wells allows technologists to optimize production conditions and timely repair wells. The parameters that are most suitable for further transportation and refining of oil at refineries are monitored. This is first of all chloride salts, water content, poor point, chlororganic acid. Today Kumkol is a well-developed field with well-organized infrastructure, high-tech production and well-established life for the staff who is working here. Since the first fountain of oil flowed from exploration well, people built a route of 190 kilometers long here, which is connecting Kuzlorda and Kumkol, large camp for up to 2,000 people and the power electricity line. Specialists are sure that the life of this oil-bearing region will continue around Kumkol. The newly discovered fields will not be able to operate without technical base that Kumkol has developed since its existence. The main thing, as scientists and production workers say, is competently and carefully usage of wealth that was accumulated in the depths of this ancient and rich land for millions of years.